Hi there, you're looking at a box opening review for the Shiatsu Max 2, I think that's how they say it, by Home Medics. It's just arrived now from Amazon. Um, it's actually a lot bigger than I expected, as you can see. I kind of figured it'd be a flatter box, maybe a bit smaller, folded up or something, so that was surprising. Um, just to put it in perspective, there's a book. Um, it's a big box, so just bear that in mind when you're delivering. Luckily, Home Medics sent this with a company called DPD, and they actually do deliver to other locations in the area. So I had it delivered to a pharmacy, uh, and on the way home just now from work, I've just collected it. So while that's not relevant to the product, just bear in mind, this is way bigger than I expected in the box. Um, so I just wanted to do a bit of a box opening. I'm gonna open the box now, first thoughts, and then I'll do a part two in a second after I've used it and kind of tell you how it is. Right, let's have a look, first of all, what's in the bag. these. So there you go. Like I said, this box is massive. So uh, there you go. When you're looking to deliver, let me just stop that wobble. There you go. So if you're looking for a delivery, you know, hidden in a special place, I don't think they're going to hide this very easy. But right, first impressions, it is quite heavy, actually. Again, a little bit more surprise than I expected. Um, Nice box, usual come from the back. Blah, 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 blah. Two times two massage nose, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you read all that on Amazon already. So let's have a look what's in the box instead. Let's get in there. Okay, first of all. all right, I'm not intending to read the instructions on this, so I'm gonna literally wing it as I go. So that's the back stroke cushion cool yeah that seems pretty good that looks like it's a wipe clean style cushion inverted zip so it's on the inside so you don't get it looking on the outside which looks good probably hard to zip i imagine uh velcro's on and off a little bit suede here no idea where that goes properly yet looks nice though first impression is that good pulling this out now all right let's just check the box in the box Lots of packaging, nothing important. So let's get rid of that. More packaging, nothing important. Right, so. Have a look. Oh, the cover's, uh, the cover's really good quality, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it reminds me of, um, reminds me of a cheap version of an Audi, actually. Isn't it? I say cheap because it's not real leather, but um, it's got that kind of feel to it. So I'm assuming this is the back support that goes around the chair at the back. On this. Oh. Instructions, probably important later. Yeah, and I imagine that probably goes somehow on there. Like that. I'm sure, but we'll figure that out later. Yeah, first first impressions are really good quality. Um, this is not going to stain easily, I tell you. It's not going to stain at all, actually. Um, it seems really comfy. It's a couple of lumps, obviously, there for obvious reasons. Stitching looks good. Let's have a look at that. Turn it upside down. Yeah. Yeah, stitching looks really good. You can see there. Doesn't look like it's going to easily rip. Let's put a little bit of pressure on it, see what happens. No, yeah, it looks good. Looks really good quality, actually. Better than I thought, um, or better than expected. So this is uh, screwed down. So you make an function. You must remove and discard screw before this. Okay, so I can't really fiddle anymore because it looks like I've got to do some actual prep to get it set up. But box opening is nice and easy. Uh, looks clean. Quality's good. Packed well. Quite heavy. Quite easy to move around. I was actually hoping to have this in the car if I can, but I'm going to get an inverter to do that. Um, oh, looks like there's a little pouch there. I don't know if you can see that. Let's hide the cabling in. So, I don't know if it's supposed to be there or probably not actually now thinking about it. Right, box opening looks good. Looks like really good quality, um, as you can see. And I'll do a part two in a second with regards to how it feels. Part two to the review, so I've actually uh, used it now. I just wanted to show you a few little tricks with this. So first of all, the fabric that I wasn't sure about is a front cover sort of thing, as you can see there. So it just Velcro's on to the back here, and also the top's removal as well. Um, the main point of that is actually because underneath 
you've got this mesh, which will come true in a minute of why that is. So that's that's pretty decent, uh, nice and comfortable, non-sweat material. So I've been on there with uh, no t-shirt before, um, and that was good. You've got a little pouch on the side here to put your remote control. You can see there, so that'll go in there. Um, really good for instance storage. And I can categorically say, you don't really want to store the wires in this little gap here where I first pulled it out um, from the box. But that is good to stick them in there for storage. Obviously when you want to go to storage, this is it here, just folds up neatly. Um, really easy to store. On the back, you've got your Velcro things to go over the chair. As you can see by me not undoing them, they're pretty, um, they're pretty stretchy and pretty strong. Look. Like this. So first thing to note is there's a solid bit of kit. Um, really is uh, decent. Um, and let me show you some of the um, some of the, the features of which, if I take this off, it will explain why in a sec. So remote control. Let's uh, go over here. All right. So you've got the power button, and then you've got your shiatsu massages, your rolling massages. Um, this is to adjust the uh, distance of the two rollers, and I'll show you in a minute. This is a manual up and down to decide where you want to stay. Your heat button, so when you press that, it turns on, and then your vibrate button. So the first thing's first, the vibrate. It's that panel over here. You can actually see it by moving, and you can hear it. It's pretty damn strong. So if you watch that, now it's the back, and then I put it on. Oops, wrong button. actually vibrate. Can't really show much on the video on this. However, see the two lumps there? If I press the shiatsu button, there you go. Pretty decent. So that is the shiatsu massage. And as you can see, you can basically see its style of massage as it goes up. So going back to what I said earlier, you kind of cover that with this. Oops, when you hit the Velcro. Like that. So that, I have to put that on a bit sloppish there, but you can see that'll be behind it, but for this purpose, we're gonna see it. So there you go, there's the motion. Now, I found it went really high. I was surprised how high it went, bearing in mind that's where the cushion is. Um, I suppose it depends on body shape and um, what you're actually trying to achieve. If then you wanted heat with that, you press the heat button and look, they turn red. So that's pretty cool. So the remote control stays red. Now they've turned red and they then start heating up. They do take a minute or so to really penetrate through that cover. Um, they definitely add some really cool uh, dynamic to the massage. So that's this Shiatsu, remote control wise. You can then isolate it to the bottom like that. So that will stay in the bottom half of your lower back or you can isolate it to the top. As you can see, it will start moving up there, but it won't just move up there. It will sort of massage move up there. And then finally, if you press the top one, it's the full full body there okay um, then you can control it manually so you can see I've stopped it there now it will stay there and if I hold that button down it will then move down to where I want it and if it's the way I want it I let go and it will stay there now okay and then the last one which is useful not the last but another one that's useful is if you put it back on say that one and I use this for my kids say so you've got see this button over here at the top there so I pressed it Basically what that means is it will never go any higher than that now. So it will go back down and then wherever I press that top button, it will stop there. So it won't go all the way to the top. So I found two uses for this. The kids liked using it. Um, so I used that particular setting to ensure that it stayed on their back, uh, more for fun. And for me, I just didn't need it above my neck. So um, I just would press that button when I felt suitable and then it would obviously stop. So you can see it's going up there now. In fact, you can take it off any time and reset it again any time. So you see now it will just start moving down. That will be the highest it will ever go because I set it there. So I'll take that off. And then the next massage outside of the Shiatsu is the rolling one. So there is a big difference with this one. You'll notice it's not pulsating. So this one's just going to roll up the back and down the back. Surprisingly, it's actually quite nice. Um, I found this one, if you focused on a particular area that was bothering you, probably most beneficial. The other one's not, the Shiatsu seems to be all round. You can see that moves up. So there is another setting on this one. Um, same as before, you can lock it out to go a certain height. So you can see I locked it and it just started coming down. I'll take that lock off. And the other one you can do is this button here. And it took me, you need to see these lights to kind of understand it. So every time you press these and you'll just hear them, they readjust slightly. 
and there's a pattern to that readjustment. Obviously the pattern is not so obvious when it starts to go down because um, it sort of goes into that position. But as you come back out into the flat, so this is where you can then adjust it to your bones and, um, and generally where you want the massage to be. So there, you can see it's rolling up there. So you can find different adjustments that suits you. And obviously you can keep going if you wanted. And then finally, you can obviously have the heat on those again. You can see there, dictated by the red. So yeah. Okay. And you can of course have the vibration plate on at the same time. If we go back to Shiatsu, you can see the heat, oops, you can see the heat stays on so I can move between different styles and that heat won't be lost, it doesn't reset it. I think the only other thing to note is when you turn it off, it flashes off, but it completely makes its way down to the bottom again. So you do have to wait for that sequence to finish and I wouldn't advise turning it off at the mains. And then when that finally gets to the bottom into its reset position, um, it will then go back off. Um, I've got an energy monitor and I've noticed that when off, it doesn't even register. Um, so this standby doesn't obviously use much energy at all. Well, in fact, it uses none as far as I'm concerned. Um, and then obviously you just put the remote, maybe not one-handed while holding a camera, into the side bit there. You can see that's kind of its storage. Finally, I just wanted to show you it set up on a different chair. Um, the other chair I showed you a second ago is probably a little bit too up, upright for my liking. While this one's a little bit too pink for me, uh, my daughter's chair, um, you can just sort of see that it's got a bit more of a laid back approach to it. Um, and actually I use it here, and this is actually the location where I use it most. Um, I find the armrest quite helpful and just more relaxing generally. So it does fit all different chairs. Um, obviously I don't bolt this one on with the thing, because as you can see, there's a bit of a lean to it. It does it for me. Um, really comfy.